Hello, hello, my lovely year five designers. We're going to do some cooking today. I've washed my hands. I've rolled up my sleeves, doing all the very important bits of food hygiene. I've tied back my hair and I've wiped my surfaces. And what we need to do is we need to use our recipe that we worked out yesterday. You have the ingredients you have to have, the couscous chickpea stock cube. You'll also have hot water. Then you have your flavours. I've got garlic and cumin. Then your vegetables and fruits. I chose peppers uh, to tomatoes and cucumber and it all adds up to less than one pound and fifty pence for this meal. Great, so we've got our chopping board. The first thing to note is we don't want it moving around all over the place so you need your chopping board so it's a shiny side up. You can have a look, there's one that's a dull side and one that's a shiny side. The next thing we talk need to talk about is knife safety. Right, this is a proper knife for proper cooking and it will properly hurt you if you don't use it properly. So we need to go through some important safety tips. Never, never, never walk around the room with your knife without the cover on. You always have the cover on when you're walking around the room. That's absolutely vital. And whenever you're not using it, it's safely on your cutting mat. We never hold it like a dagger. We always hold it in the correct place. We have the blade and the handle and we pinch it where the blade and the handle meet. That means we've got good control. If you hold it on the end or hold it like a dagger, you have not got good control at all. We do not do that ever. And whenever we don't need it, back on the board with the cover on. Very simple. Now we're going to look at cutting. I'm going to show you what's called the bridge technique. Can you see how my fingers are making like a bridge shape there, an arch? So our knife goes in between through the bridge and I'm holding the vegetable either side with my bridged fingers. This means my fingers are always well away from the blade and won't get hurt. And you can get quite small cutting with this bridge technique. But if you get worried, I've also put in some forks for you. You can use a fork and you can just chop it up like this. So I want you to do some really fine cutting, but have a go at the bridge technique. And if you don't feel confident enough to cut it all the way using the bridge, you can use the fork. Right, everybody, I think that's pretty well it. That's the way we're going to do it without our fingers getting hurt. So it's time to begin to cook. Put the kettle on, teachers. We're going to need some hot water. First of all, you'll need a jug, a wooden spoon, one of these measuring spoons, and then you'll need maybe a lemon squeezer if you've got lemon in your flavour. And then you'll need a big bowl to mix it in and a fork as well. You'll also have some smaller bowls and forks for the tasting later. OK, time to begin. Let's clear the decks. Everything we need is here. So first of all, we put 100 grams of our couscous into our big bowl and we add our flavourings. So for my one, I'm adding some garlic powder here and some dried cumin. You'll add whatever you um, put on your recipe. And we just add that straight into our dried couscous. This is really going to make the flavours sink in there when we add the water. Now, what we do is we open our vegetable stock cube and we break it up and we put it into our hot water. You're going to need 150 millilitres of hot water because that couscous really sucks it up. Give it a good mix so that the stock cube dissolves. You've been doing about dissolving and things in science, so that's useful. Give it a good mix around. And now you're going to add that to your dry ingredients, your flavours and uh, your couscous and give it a good mix and you just leave that on the side. If you were going to add an, a lemon, this is where you would do it. So you would squeeze it and add it then. You also add your chickpeas to the dried and we're ready to add all your other recipe. So we've done all the things we need to do up to now and it's time to chop our vegetables. So this is where our knife skills come in. Please be careful and remember all those important tips. Now, when you're cutting a tomato, if you look, you've got the bit where the stalk comes off from the plant and you've got a little dot at the bottom. You're going to cut around the middle. Imagine it like a globe where the stalk bit is the North Pole. Now, watch how I'm going to cut around the equator using my knife, not at the end, but holding it nice and firmly in the middle. And I make my bridge and I slice my tomato around the equator. There we go, first bit done. Now I can use my bridge again and I can get smaller and smaller each time using my bridge. Now make sure everyone in the group has a go at doing the cutting. The object of today's lesson is to make sure everybody knows how to cut safely. And if people want to, they can use the bridge. And if they want to, they can use the fork when they get really small. 
It's up to you, however confident you feel. So we chop everything up really finely. This is important with couscous because we want everything to be all mixed. We don't want any big lumps. So we want everything to be like a real flavour bomb, a real taste and combination. When you've done your first vegetable, you add it in to your couscous and we start chopping our next fruit or vegetable. I'm using cucumber here. If you've got the end of a cucumber, just take the little bit off. And there I'm using my bridge and I'm using my bridge again. And the idea is to get smaller and smaller um, as best you can. And you can use that fork or you can use the bridge technique. Make it as small as possible to make sure it's all nicely combined. Add that to your bowl of couscous and then my final ingredient was the pepper now I thought I'd show you the pepper there's two ways you can cut it across or down from the top it doesn't really matter it's the same thing because what you need to do is remove out this bit here I find it easier to cut long ways and just peel off the pepper and we want to get rid of all the seeds these aren't like chili seeds where they have flavor they're just a bit annoying so I've got rid of all the bits inside that we don't need and then we're ready to chop using my bridge make it smaller and smaller until I can really chop it up finely Okay, so I always do it into this way, into strips first and then into little bits. But you work out your own way as long as you're doing it safely. Now, do you see my bridge there? I was holding it right on the end rather than going in between. Or if you don't feel confident doing that, you can use the fork as always. Let's get that all chopped up and we can add that to our couscous. Now in a moment, I'm gonna show you another recipe that I did as well, but there's my finished couscous. You've gotta make sure you stir it really, really well so all the veggies are combined. This is my second couscous. I thought I'd change it up. This time I'm using coriander, mint, carrot, which I've peeled and grated. Um, I used some lemon as my flavor there as well. So I put that in at the start when I added the stock cube and the boiling water. Um, I also added spring onion, a nice healthy handful of raisins and some lettuce to this one. And I just wanted to show you how you can make completely different flavours um, using just this range of vegetables. You know, sometimes it would be really fruity because you've added the things like raisins and pineapples. Other times it would be much more savoury where it's just the vegetables. And you just see what you want and create a flavour. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And you'll know for next time. So here we go. Let's have a taste. Get a perfect mouthful for me. Got a raisin, got lettuce and got some carrot. Perfect. Don't you eat yours out of your serving bowl. Split it up between you in the little bowls and all use your individual forks. Have a good taste, talk about things you might like to add to improve it or things that you think are really nice about it. Put that onto your worksheet. Please, please, everyone, be really careful with those knives today. They are proper knives and they can properly hurt you. So let's not do that. Let's enjoy our cookery. Bye.